Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, SSC Selector. In this video, we are going to learn a very simple question. If you know a particular property, let's see what is the question first. BE is a tangent, B is a tangent. AC is the diameter and the length of AC is 10 centimeters. It is given. AB is perpendicular to B and similarly CD is perpendicular to B and the length of AB is given as 9 centimeter. You have to find out the length of CD. How we can find out in just one second? Let's see. First of all, to start with the question, draw OT, which is the radius. Is the length of diameter is 10 centimeter, radius will be 5 centimeter. Given AB is perpendicular, CD is perpendicular. Radius is always perpendicular on the tangent at point of contact. So this is also perpendicular. Perpendicular, three perpendicular lines on the same line are parallel to each other. So in this case, AB is parallel to OT, is parallel to CD. And we know the length of AB and we know the length of OT. We don't know the length of CD. So here comes the shortcut for that. Remember in a trapezium, these two lines are parallel. If this is a trapezium, A, B, C, D, and you join the midpoints, so the line will be parallel. Suppose this line is E, F. I'm not talking about this particular figure. In general, I'm talking about. So if E and F are the midpoints, or any one of them is midpoint, the other one is automatically midpoint, then the relation between the three lines will be EF is equal to half of AB plus CD. Remember this particular relation. EF is half of AB plus CD. Now using the same property here, let's see what we can get in this particular question. Here in this case, we have AB, we have OT. And also we have CD. So here AB is parallel to OT, parallel to CD, and O is the midpoint of AC. The reason is O is the center of the circle. AO and OC will be radius, so each will be 5 centimeter. So OA is 5, OC is 5. So this is the midpoint. And all the three lines are perpendicular to the same line. So they are parallel to each other. It is, it is forming a trapezium. So the value of OT will be half of AB plus CD. Now we already know the length of AB and we know the length of OT. We don't know the length of CD. So let's put the value. OT is 5, 1 by 2. AB is 9, CD. 5 to the 10 is equals to 9 plus CD. So the value of CD will be 10 minus 9, that is 1 centimeter. So the length of this line will be 1 centimeter. In this case, we have used a particular property of our trapezium that if three lines are parallel, that is trapezium, and we draw the mid, the middle line is drawn from the midpoint of any of the side, then this is the average of other two sides. This particular property we are used in this case. We can solve this question within just one second. Now, if you have gone through this particular video till the end, I'm asking you a question. Try to find out the value of C. What will be the value of C? And if possible, then the length of DE also, DT also, and BT also. And write in the comment box what will be the length of C, D, 
dt and vt i'm just giving you a a bit of an idea that uh, we can solve this particular question with the help of similar triangles try to find out the value of c d dt and vt and write in the chat box i hope friends you like this video please like to our videos and subscribe to our channel